Welcome. Today we will talk about factoring and the difference of two squares. All right. So this is the definition here of the difference of two squares. It's a squared minus b squared factors into a the quantity of a minus b and a plus b. All right. Before moving on to actual numerical examples, let's verify that this is true. All right, so we're going to rewrite this, and when we fact, when we distribute and simplify, we should get this, right? Okay, so let's do this. First, we're going to distribute a. So it's going to be a times a, which is a squared, and a times b, which is a b. And then we have this negative b we're going to distribute. Negative b times a is minus b a and minus b times b is minus b squared. Now combine like terms and remember a b is equal to b a just like 3 times 4 is equal to 4 times 3. So instead of writing it as negative b a we could therefore write it as negative a b. Let's do that a squared plus a b minus a b minus b squared. Notice the middle terms here cancel out and you're left with a squared minus b squared. So the identity is verified. This is true. All right. So now we're going to talk about how we can use the difference of two squares to help us in factoring. So here's the first problem we will try. It's 4x squared minus 25. All right. Notice the 4 and the 25 are perfect squares, meaning 2 times 2 is 4, and 5 times 5 is 25. We can rewrite it in this format here. What this looks like is 2x squared minus 5 squared. Notice if I square each of these quantities 2x squared is actually 4x squared and 5 squared with the negative in front is still negative 25 so we haven't changed anything we just rewrote it so that it looks like this. All right. So now how can, how can we use this identity for this the, uh, the difference of two squares to finish factoring out this problem? Okay. Well here it says this here is equal to a minus b times a plus b. Well what are a and b? 2x is a and 5 is b. So instead of having them written as a's and b's, let's write them as 2x and 5. So instead of a, we can write 2x. And instead of b, we can write 5. And instead of a, we can write 2x. And instead of b, we can write 5. All right, so this is the factored form of our original 4x squared minus 25 and like always let's con let's uh, make sure that everything is correct so we're gonna distribute 2x through it will give us 4x squared plus 10x and then we're gonna distribute this term through negative 10x minus 25 notice once again the middle terms cancel out this is the recurring theme in difference of two squares that inevitably leads to a squared minus b squared. In this next problem, notice that there's two different variables being used, but that's really not going to stop us from doing anything. We're going to carry out everything we did in the prior problem in the same exact manner you notice the 25 is a perfect square, r is a perfect square, 16 is a perfect square, and t squared is a perfect square. So we can rewrite them 
as 5r squared minus 4t squared, right? Because if I squared each one of these terms, I'd get 25r squared minus 16t squared. Next, all you have to do is realize that 5r is really a and 4t is really b of your difference of two squares. So you can substitute them into the identity and you get instead of a you place in 5r minus and instead of b you place 4t instead of a 5r plus and instead of b 4t alright <clears throat> now this is the factored form this is the answer sometimes the problems can get a little hairier you don't always have to check these ones these ones you get they get fairly simple fairly quick but let's go ahead and check this one so we get 25 r squared for the first one we're distributing right so now we distribute through here we get plus 20 r t then we get from distributing them the second term we get negative 20 r t minus 16 t squared so notice once again the middle terms do cancel out and you are left with a difference of two squares next problem is x squared minus 49 go ahead and take a couple minutes pause the video and solve this one on your own all right let's see how you did so you notice there are two squares here the x squared and the 49 we're gonna adjust it to look more like this here so it's gonna be x squared minus 7 squared right okay now we know this is a and we know this is B so just plug that into our identity this here we get X instead of a and then we substitute 7 for B and then we put in the X for a and substitute 7 for B the signs being already indicated by the identity this is the factored form this is your answer it's as easy as that if you're really diligent about your work and thorough you can even check it from here so you distribute back through you get x squared plus 7x second term minus 7x minus 49 and once again the middle terms cancel and you're left with x squared minus 49 the difference of two squares all right and let's do one more example before ending this video take the time now to pause it once again and try to solve this one on your own by putting it first into the format where it looks like this the left hand of the uh, sum and difference identity or I mean just the uh, difference of two squares identity and then use that information to make it look like the right side of that identity all right so I hope this is starting to get a little bit easier let's uh, begin the problem so how can you write 25 X squared in this format here with the a squared and we 5x squared right because the square will produce 25 x squared so what is it for the y just y squared now that it's in this form all we have to do from there so this is a and this is b substitute them for the right hand of the difference of two squares identity so first you have 
5x minus y times the quantity 5x plus y. All right, so that is your factored answer. And if you want to check your answer, distribute through both terms through, which gives you for the first one 25x squared plus 5xy minus 5xy minus y squared. 5xy and negative 5xy produce 0. You're left with 25 x squared minus y squared which is what we started with so these are indeed the factors of 25 x squared minus y squared and that's really all there is to it when you're taking the difference of two squares if you ever forget what the actual formula is you could always start off with a minus b and a plus b or you can start off here and try to figure out how to get there from there but as you saw when you do do that when you do this the middle terms cancel out and it does indeed provide a squared minus b squared thank you for watching this video on a difference of two squares I'll see you later